So check it out, Bethesda just released a brand new Starfield video showcasing Vasco. We got to learn so much new information about him, but also what appears to be survival mechanics in this game and what is being called extended overland journeys, which will require his help. So we're gonna take an in-depth look at Vasco and also his abilities, some cool stuff going on there. But guess who else is in the news? CD Projekt Red because they just talked about Unreal Engine 5 and what they're doing with The Witcher 4. A brand new update about that as well. But we're going to start out with, of course, Starfield. So let's go back to Vasco here and talk about him. Uh, this is really, really cool. He's considered an earlier model built by Lunar Robotics. He's actually has been refurbished uh, into a heavy industrial robot and is meant for challenges of space travel. So it sounds like he can practically survive anything. And most importantly, he can get around any terrain that you can get around, which is really, really important uh, as well. Now, you can also load him up with what they are describing as survival gear, which is really cool. And there also, also seems to be some sort of winch system. And perhaps there's a tool here that allows you to repel as we uh, get to that. Check this out right here. We're going to zoom in with some of his functionalities. Look at these tools. It appears that there's some sort of winch system. There is a payload here that you can perhaps dump some materials into anything that you collect and your survival stuff. But uh, this robot sounds like it might introduce some really cool survival mechanics to, of course, Starfield, uh, which is really cool. It looks like players will be able to embark on what is being called extended overland journeys this is as described by bethesda officially and it seems like by venturing further away from your spaceship of course you're going to have to really consider loading up vasco with essential resources that you absolutely need for survival at least that's my assumption of what you're going to have to do and treat him like kind of like a pack mule on your adventures but you're probably wondering, is Vasco peaceful or is he deadly? Well, he can be both. He's primarily a peaceful robot. But if we rewind here and we take a look at the abilities, once again, you have the survival mechanics right here. But there's a little bit more of a layer here going on. He does have defensive armaments, as you can see here. Now, a lot of players were also wondering, well, can you configure uh vasco is that something that is possible well it looks like to me it is because we see different concepts of him perhaps indicating that we can give him different weapons and that sort of thing which i think would be honestly very very plausible for vasco so really cool stuff there let's get into some reactions or some really good speculation going on within the starfield community that i really wanted to highlight so yeah let's talk about it right here we have a reply here from Inzer, who says, oh boy, I'm already feeling sorry for all I'm going to put this fella through. He's going to carry so much junk, he'll probably go join the Crimson Fleet in the process. But you know what? That's Vasco's purpose. In fact, we have this one right here from, as you can see, Jay Graham, who says he was born to carry your burdens. Yes, exactly. He was absolutely, that's his purpose. Use him for payload and that sort of thing. It's going to be super important. Now, also, we have this one from Shadow Romeo, who says, hopefully Vosco can also be modified just the same way as Automatron DLC robots are in Fallout 4. Honestly, I think that's going to be the case. In fact, we have uh, some replies here agreeing with that. We have pretty Mr. Toasty who says he most likely can. And then we have this one from Professor Mowski who says this right here possible considering how Bethesda operates with every game they introduce a bunch of new concepts and bring the ones that they deem to be successful to the next one. Unpaused dialogue from Skyrim brought to Fallout 4, extensive weapon modification, settlement building, and the new armor system from Fallout 4 brought to fallout 76 so yeah to me it would also make sense that that is something that they would want to do for starfield's robots is to have them fully fleshed out feature but again wait for full confirmation then we have this one here from alpha ac who says this it's the animations on it for me the way that tumblr 
looking thing shakes is so lifelike and animated. I hope this level of polish is extended onto all aspects of the game. Yeah, I hope so too. And from what we're seeing just from the little snippets of gameplay from Starfield, it just looks super impressive. And I agree, the animations are looking to be top notch. And we've had the Bethesda dev team recently say, you're gonna be blown away by what you're going to see with this game. So yeah, that gets me super excited. But you're probably wondering, hey, Robbie, what is going on with The Witcher 4? What's going on with that franchise? You mentioned it earlier in the video. Tell me what is happening there. So there was a recent Unreal Engine 5 state of, I guess you would say play uh, going on recently. So it was called State of Unreal Engine. And it's pretty cool because CD Projekt Red was one of the highlights and they talked about their work going into Unreal Engine 5. And of course, they're currently developing The Witcher 4. And they were really impressed with what Epic is doing with Unreal Engine. And they have gone all in with Unreal Engine 5. And they're developing some really cool, easy to use, easy to develop for tools. As you can see right here, here's kind of an example of them using, I suppose, this tower forming or, excuse me, photogrammetry in unreal engine and then we have this tech demonstration which really caught cd project red's eyes uh this was the medieval environment tech demo and it actually said monster slayers wanted and that really drew them in even more but it really showcased what could be possible of course on unreal engine 5 and it drew them into this relationship with of course happy games now they're going to be able to develop their game a lot more easily they say than ever before, than even apparently their own engine could do. And the most important thing to them is addressing bugs and problems very, very quickly. They described it as this. When they developed their games, it was kind of like a cascading effect. When one bug was present, it caused a bunch of issues with the game. And this is something that Unreal Engine 5 will help them prevent, of course. So that's gonna be really noteworthy for them to be able to develop, I believe, um the witcher 4 very very quickly now a lot of you are probably wondering hey robbie what about cyberpunk 2 the sequel to cyberpunk 2077 so my personal opinion about this one is that yeah it would most likely be using unreal engine 5 tech down the road that they would be in my personal opinion scrapping what they did with cyberpunk 2077 with that engine and going to unreal engine 5 because they want to pack have two games in parallel development that's going to be the witcher 4 and then i would assume cyberpunk 2 those teams would be able to communicate with each other very easily any discoveries would be able to be shared any problems would be able to be fixed very very quickly between of course the witcher and then cyberpunk because you want them using the same engine you don't want one on red engine 2 and then another on Unreal Engine 5. That would not make any sense. Now, I'm curious to see if they're gonna be able to pull assets from Cyberpunk 2077 and convert them over into Unreal Engine 5. That's gonna be the biggest question in my mind going forward. We'll have to wait and see what CD Projekt Red does there, of course. But yeah, there it is, the latest happenings around, of course, Starfield. We talked a little bit about um, CD Projekt Red and what they're doing, but I am so hyped for Starfield. Gameplay should be showcased here in June around the Microsoft press conference. Whenever that date is nailed down, I will definitely let you guys know, but it's gonna be absolutely huge when they finally reveal like a 10 minute walkthrough of this game. Let me know what you guys would like to see from this. I'm really curious to see the various landscapes in this game, of course. I really, really want them to keep some things a secret with this game. I want to be able to sit down, enjoy it, and not have it spoiled. That's just the way I am personally. But yeah, it looks like there's going to be a lot to explore in this game. One of the biggest, if not the biggest Bethesda endeavor ever. But be sure to check out my recent Starfield videos, by the way. I'm covering absolutely any news that does release about this game. So check it out on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you all next time. Take care.